glad to see how many folks are here in support of Peter and in support of Woo! this riding association. It's great to see. And I will tell you honestly, I mean, I'm an MP from Halifax, right? What am I doing here? Uh, well, I got a call from Patrick Costigan. He's our tours coordinator. So when MPs are out traveling around Canada and want to know what's going on in different ridings. And, and Patrick called me and he said, I need to get you to southwestern Ontario. You have to go to southwestern Ontario because there are these two candidates. And I really want you to go and meet them. I really want you to go to events with them. And they, they were Peter and they were Mark. Do you guys all know Mark from, from Brantford? Mark the Barrier? Hi. And, Patrick said, you've got to get to Southwestern Ontario, you've got to meet them, you've got to do some work with them. So that's why I'm here, and I have to say kudos to Patrick if he's watching. Uh, <laughs> because absolutely, Mark and Peter are exactly the kind of candidates that we want, that we hope run for us. They're exactly the kind of people that represent good social democratic values, the kinds of values that we have as New Democrats, and they're absolutely the kind of people that we need to have in the House of Commons. It is, <laughs> I sit on the conservative side of the house. I don't know if <laughs> folks know that, but because there are uh, more opposition MPs in government, we spill over. So there's six new Democrats on the government side. It's Ooh. a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and that fuels me even more to make sure that we get out really excellent candidates, that we get more new Democrats that get it, right? I mean. What are we? Who do we represent? We're social democrats. We believe in government, right? We believe that government should take care of its citizens, that government should take care of the environment. <laughs> but we believe in these That's things, right? Government <laughs> serves a purpose in our lives, and it can make our communities stronger, more robust, and, and more vibrant. We believe in government, and right now we have a government that doesn't believe in itself. Right? We have a government that doesn't believe in government. Yep. And they are doing everything that they can to get rid of it. Right? You ask them about health care, it's a provincial issue. You ask them about education, it's a provincial issue. You ask them about housing, it's a provincial issue. They don't believe in government. So I'm the health critic for the NDP, and in 2014, uh, we have to actually renegotiate the accord under the Canada Health Act. So we have to renegotiate Medicare in Canada and how the feds interact with provinces to deal with Medicare. And I am terrified that in 2014, if we have Stephen Harper as a prime minister, we will not have Medicare. Mm. We will not have Medicare. The thing that Tommy Douglas fought for and the thing that he achieved. But he also imagined something more than just free doctors and free nurses and free hospital stays. He imagined a Canada where your health was looked at holistically, where we had pharmacare, where we had long-term care, where we had health prevention, where we had health promotion, where we actually would keep Canadians healthy so they didn't have to end up in the hospital. We haven't even gotten there yet. So we need to work really hard, right? Uh, Jack says all the time, canvas, canvas, canvas. And when you're done canvassing, get out there and canvas. Uh, we need to get out there, we need to back Peter, back mark. We need to get out there and start knocking on doors. We need to host coffee parties for our neighborhood. Maybe so I'm thrilled to see how many people are here in, in support of Peter and uh, I, I know it's going to bring great, great, great things for his campaign and hopefully it's going to bring even better things for the election. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks everybody. It's really a pleasure being here. Thanks for the warm welcome.